guys, it's me. Hey guys, it's me, Kizza Wolfie here. Sorry if I said that twice. Um, today I will just be grinding my levels because I've only got two to three levels to go before I'm level 100. May take a while, but yeah, I can't do it on my Xbox because it, the only time it comes up is five minutes to record. So, fun. I was planning on staying in the call with Sam, but oh, I'm not in the mood for people who want to go off at me and say I'm going to say more weird shit when I'm not going to. Like, seriously, come on. When I say I'm not going to talk anymore about that stuff, they don't listen to me and they think I'm going to say more of it. That's not on. I'm not wasting my freaking breath because of that. So, I'm sorry. Any more fucking toxic people? Get out of here. I'm not dealing with it. Already had enough to deal with. So, yeah. Bah humba. I don't know. Fucking hell. I mean, I have dealt with quite a lot of shit lately. And trust me, being, sometimes being in the Discord call with all the other people and everything. Today was not really good for me. I kept on getting disconnected from Among Us, which I thought someone was kicking me out. And I didn't know there was this thing where they said, boot, this person has booted you from the freaking server. I did not know about that bit. And I assumed someone was kicking me out because my internet was working perfectly fine today. Not going to jinx it because it will go shit. And I am going to get away from that because that is copyright music. So what I'm trying to say is that people are just, honestly, I thought everyone can just be fucking nice for a change, but they don't know how. So fun. Not my sarcasm is really, really bad. I'm pressing triangle. I do not know why. I, I mean, I'm sorry if you guys are going to hear all this and everything, but I just got to fucking say it. I'm over the bullshit that people just constantly put up and they think everything is their fault. Come on. Why is it your fault? Why is everything everyone else's problem and they're blaming shit for no reason? Like, I never did anything wrong. I'm trying to do things right. For a change. But anything I say. Anything I do. I mean. People get so upset about it. And. Trust me. It's not really fun. It's not really fair at all. I don't think the internet will be that bad today. Because. I'm only on the camera on my phone. Recording this. And I've got people messaging me. And especially my boyfriend. Because he's at a game right now and I hope his team wins. So, yeah. I'm just going to see because my phone vibrated and nobody messaged me. So, fun. Anybody that tries to ask for my phone number, I will refuse if I don't know you. I'm sorry if I have to be like that, but I don't go adding strangers or calling them. Unless I know them. So I do apologise if I'm like this, but today I am not having such a good day at all. And I mean, I'm actually trying to have a good day, but with people, the amount of people being such a bitch to me, come on, you honestly, people just need to grow the fuck up. I'm sorry if I'm babbling on about this or anything like that, but come on, you gotta at least not like it for one day. Like, the amount of people that are just toxic is fucked up. I mean, yeah. Eagles, that's the team I'm for you. Hang on, I've gotta hide somewhere. 
<laughs> it's much better because with Travis, he messages me quite a lot. I shouldn't have mentioned him. I heard a sniper. Ah! <laughs> so, I actually thought he was wearing an Eels shirt. And then I just told him, I thought you were wearing Eels colours, which technically, Eels colours are blue and yellow. And... <laughs> I actually, <laughs> I just sent him that. So, honestly, Ethan, I shouldn't say I. Yes, I can call him that on um, Whatsy on YouTube and everything. But yeah, he makes me smile, and at least the messages he sends and everything, like. Hearing from him is just amazing. Even though he's playing, um, not playing, he's at a football stadium right now, so he he wasn't allowed to, wasn't allowed to. What am I saying? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. What I meant to say was, okay, that's going to be a death trap. What I meant to say was, um, He's a mate. Calm your bum. I, I don't know what I was trying to say. I forgot what I was saying anyways. So, yeah. Anyhow, I know he'll see this. Get away from the nuts and bolts. Okay, so I was on TikTok. And, yes, I do have a TikTok account if you guys are shocked. Um, but I was on it. And on TikTok, I saw that Fortnite is now bringing up the mobile app. They're bringing, well, there was something else. Um, oh, no, bro. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. So they're bringing back other stuff too. And I just sent that to one of my friends. I wasn't able to save the video. Or share it on Discord because with Discord likes to say TikTok websites doesn't even come up with a picture like it does on Messenger and no you cannot add me on I don't know why the fuck I'm saying this for but I do get a lot of people asking me to give them like the phone give them my phone number or shit and so that's why I'm just like no I don't know you. You're a st complete stranger to me, and I don't give in, I don't give out my phone number for no reason, unless I full on trust them. Which, yeah, no. Nah. Do I have to eat another apple? I don't think I can eat myself anymore. <laughs> Consume poached items. Ignite structures with fire. What's the green ones? Where's the green ones? Destroy structures at steamy stacks. Well, I definitely cannot do that right now. Consume corn at steel farm. So I gotta fuck myself up in it. Okay. What well, use a zip line? That's easy enough for me. But I gotta find one. I am trying to get up to level 100 before the season ends. And no, I am not sweating it. Because I hate being a fucking sweater. And I'm sorry if I'm swearing too. But that's just how I am. I swear. Everybody swears. Apart from little kids. They fucked up everything. Oh yeah. They're also bringing back Tilted Towers. That's another thing I remembered. So you might just get random stuff that I remember. <laughs> Sorry. But. Oh shit that was close. Ah! Okay. That's what freaking scared me. It was a pig. And he was infected. 
Okay, so I think I can hear a UFO. Sorry if I sound a little bit too American or if I'm talking too fast because, um, to be honest, I've watched a lot of American stuff on YouTube. So it's kind of hard for me to not talk like one and everything. I talk quite fast, though. And I hope my phone doesn't die on me. But I've got it on charge, so, yeah. Swim! Swim! <laughs> uh, yeah. And also, I might be getting interrupted in the video sometimes with my staff worker, considering since I live in a group home. But, yeah. It's alright, though. I'm fine by it. <sighs> Don't know anything yet. Alexi got off for now. Um, Sam, I'm sorry to say this, but I'm still not going to join. And Alexi is lucky I did not tell Jedi about the situation that happened where he got upset at me and started saying all this stuff about thinking I'm going to continue stuff when I'm not. Whoa, I just got sniped from here. This is Snowman, calm your farm. It's, so, it's only a game, it's only a game. Calm down, calm down. Just get sniped. You're going to get sniped and I'm going to laugh because I did see a sniper, he tried to get me. Well, he didn't because he just saw me. He nearly got me. Oh, you sneaky bugger. <laughs> well, see you on next year. No, I'm talking about the game. I can be a bit crazy. My voice is kind of fucking up right now. I'm going to start Minecraft now. It's just JJ and I in the call if you want to join back. No, I'm... Good. As I said, I'm grinding my levels. So, yeah. I'm sorry, if Sam, if you're watching this afterwards or anything like that. I'm sorry if I have to be like this, but I can't handle it when people are like that in the call. It just... Yeah, it doesn't really work out for me that much. So, I apologise, but I can't handle it. I get super cranky when people don't take it seriously. When I say I'm not going to continue it, they just carry on further. I just don't understand how people can be like this. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, the amount of people out there that want to be like that and just... I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know. But I'm over it. I really am. So any more people that want to yell at me and continue nonstop and say that I am, like, going to continue stuff when I'm not going to? Like, yes, I did say something crazy. But that doesn't mean that if I'm crazy, I'm still going to continue throughout the whole game. That doesn't work out that way for me because most people get sick of it. I am one that knows how people fucking feel and I put myself in their shoes. I'm the fucking nice person and I get my whole life fucked up. I mean, I'm over it. The amount of people that just decide to be like this to me, that get upset at me for no reason and say, you're going to do this. That is why I don't say shit out loud in front of them because they get upset. They think I'm going to continue and make it look like I'm a fucking crazy bitch. Yeah, I got called cra a crazy bitch on, in an email from my ex-best friend. But he was in the wrong. He was trying to say, oh, she's making out that I'm her boyfriend and everything oh don't go adding her if she's added you as a friend block her don't even and if you're already friends with her unfriend her i'm over the fucking people that want to exaggerate shit and be like this 
I just want to have nice friends, nice conversation. Yes, a little bit of goofiness in between it makes the fucking video more better and not boring. With all the swearing and everything that goes on, uh, at least you got to be... i got to be honest. You guys, are, if you guys agree with me on this, do you find that videos will get more, not really more interesting when people continue to swear and there's not even one single bit of goofiness in there? I've seen through all these other game channels and YouTube videos and everything of people playing video games. Yeah, they get carrying carrying they carry on and everything like that but there's still a bit of goofiness in it which makes the video more entertaining for people that's why you guys watch the videos even i do i watch the boys i watch josh dub i watch your narrator i watch eddie via i watch all these other videos and everything and they make me laugh they make me feel good they make me feel like i should make more videos and put them up on my channel yeah, it's taking time. Uh, JJ, I'm not... I know I'm playing Fortnite, but I'm grinding my levels. I just told Sam that she can tell you. But honestly, the thing is, I cannot handle when people just want to be fucking rude and say stuff to me like that and honestly get upset at me. For no reason when i just on it clearly said i am not going to continue it because people do get sick of it in the end once i say something once doesn't need to be repeated because when it gets repeated and repeated and repeated it just like nobody really wants it uh, this is not what i want on my video channels of me talking about people being like this to me i want happiness i want goofiness sometimes yes swearing i do swear a lot and everything but that's how i am i'm australian most australians swear you i mean you gotta be honest or or you you i mean i've had a mental breakdown just then but the amount of fucking people that swear is that in, in australia is much more than probably america or overseas i don't th my dad doesn't like swearing so if i end up saying a really bad word in the house he'd yell at me so <laughs> i gotta keep my mouth shut if i want to swear i just say fudge <laughs> it's all i can come out with and dad doesn't like when i play video games at night because he says it's not on so i, I can only play during the day but yeah so my dad doesn't like swearing we don't swear in the house we don't talk about boys in the house we don't talk about boyfriends kissing he's got many rules no boys in the house either my stepsister brings her boyfriend over but they they've got a kid now so yeah and i'm an auntie yes yay me he sort of doesn't like me at the moment because when i had him held him in my arms at one time um you'd be surprised at the end of the video i will put a picture up of me holding my cousin and after that picture was taken he burst into tears and i'm thinking that is one of my very first cousins that have ever cried in my arms my uh, my first cousin was tyler he did not cry in my arms then i had eli no uh, is that, that well for me that came out wrong but anyways my my i don't know how to say this my sister crystal or i don't know well my auntie has a daughter and she wanted crystal and david to be like um brother and sister for me and my half brother jack um but yeah so the thing is um with that um, Crystal had three boys. She's got, she had Tyler first, then she had Eli, then Ryder, and then well, she's got them now. She's also got animals in the house. She's got a bird. She's got chickens. She's got a ra she's got rabbits. Sorry, uh, she's got a three legged cat named Yoda. Jedi, if you're watching, you're gonna love that name. 
they got a axolotl. I mean, not an axolotl. A a um. A Mexican walking fish named Queen. They got an Oscar named Eyeball. My cousin Eli named that. Um, they got two dogs and they got a bird. I think I did mention it. I'm not too sure. They got a bird named Shifty. They had one before. I named it Yankee, but then it died. Died like this. In the cage. Krista wasn't sad. She was, um, how do I say this? Laughing when she saw it. Yeah, it would, it would have been sad when he died, but come on, you got to be at least you got to be honest. The way he looked in the freaking cage at the bottom of the cage could have been funnier. But yeah, so she got a new cockatiel, and every single morning, so I taught the, that I taught Shifty how to wolf whistle and do the mocking jay whistle, and every single bloody morning he'd wake Luke up, which is Crystal's husband. And Luke would tell the bird to shut up and he won't shut up because Luke told me this. <laughs> it was so funny. And then every time I'm in the backyard trying to teach the bird to whistle, I could hear that Crystal going inside, don't you teach that bird anything else? <laughs> and I'm just like, well, the bird's going to be boring sitting in the cage not doing anything. Like he likes me when he likes it when I scratch him on the neck and everything because he just like the and nibbles my fingers when I stop, but it tickles. So I always I I love it. He loves me. But yeah, all animals love me. I had Sam's um, rainbow lorikeet. So I was in the backyard and I was just checking on the dogs. I think it was the dogs. Next thing you know. Sam's bird, Rainbow, decided to wolf whistle me. And I said, do you think I'm sexy? And he answered me with a, <laughs> and I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was really funny. And the memories are pretty good. I gotta be honest. Yeah. Oh, I haven't told. I've I've got another YouTube account, and you guys would have known. But I got my first briar. Excuse the hair tie on the my, on the thing. This is Winx. You probably don't recognize her with all the rug and everything off. But okay, let me take this off. Even though this is supposed to be a game stream thing, but hey, I love showing off my horses and I don't play with them, if you want to know. See that little symbol there? Any of you racers know this is Winx's symbol. That's the thing where they mark the horses so they know who belongs to them in the stock market. So if they go to sell them, this cut, you can see most of the horses with that. And on the other side, they, it's got the numbers. 61 is her number. I don't know why they put 61. Yes, her mane is short, but that's how thoroughbreds are supposed to be in Australia. And the tail is short too. But this is a thoroughbred, a shalike thoroughbred. And you see his tail is like cut at the bottom, like straight. And then with the mane, it's kind of different. So I do have two other horses that look exactly like this, but with different colours. But they're both replicas of the thoroughbred. And this one's a boy. He's got a penis. <laughs> yeah. Winx is a mare. So a mare is a female horse. I could do a video. <laughs> on, oh, my God. I always have good ideas. I love rambling on about horses. I When I start, I can't stop. So I'm worried right now. I am worried. I should get some help. <laughs> yeah. But uh, this horse, I'm naming him Black Beauty because look at this. One white sock or coronet is what they call it. Um, I could get my book out and start showing you guys some horsey stuff. 
but I haven't got my books because I've actually donated them to a horse riding stable that needed it most. And I'm actually proud I did that. And he's also got this, even though it's not a white star. But yeah, I've read the book Black Beauty and this horse looks exactly like him. So that's why I'm naming him Black Beauty after the horse. And then you've got Winx, right? So I've got the mare. This is a briar. This costs like $80. And if I broke this, I'd be devastated because it actually cost me like around $80 to pay for a briar horse. Like this is honestly the most expensive you can get. They're much more expensive than these. These only cost like around $17 just for one Shalike horse. Or if it's a little one, it'll cost like around $6 or $7. But it just, the prices range from the coloured dots. Um, I will get my Tinker Bowl to show you what I mean. I'm sorry, this did not turn out like what I expected it to. So, this is my Tinker Foal. And he is such a little cutie. And I don't know if it's a boy or a girl because it has no penis or no teats. But if you see this, this is a red dot. So, yes, it does come up with the 3 plus. But it has got a red dot on it. So, red, um, if I'm thinking on top of my head, it will be around the $11 mark, I'm pretty sure. And that was just only for one small foal. The foals all, all have red stickers unless they're smaller, which I'm also going to have to get all my fucking horses out. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. My controller got disconnected because it turned itself off. Does that when I'm not playing it. Um, I'm just going to get the stuff. And I'll also show it. Who cares? I can just show you everything. I can show you all my horses. It's going to be funny, guys. You're going to laugh at this. I'm just going to be doing this. That's not all of them. I've had plenty more in a big box. Uh, there's another one. And if I'm correct, there's some behind here and a bunny. Okay. Oh, shit. And then you got these ones. Um... I don't know why I'm doing this, but anyhow. Okay, so these are the rest of my horses. I'm just going to make out I started Fortnite at the start and then moved on to horses and she likes. So, here we go. Fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's supposed to be a gaming channel, but I turned it into my main channel now. So you've got a Frisian mare, even though this is freaking tiny to see. This is my Frisian mare. I will show you all the she likes, the actual models. Model. Yes, I made the saddle and the bridle. I tried to make a breastplate, but it kind of... <laughs> so, yeah. Um, she likes. Of course, she like. Such a little cutie. Looks like Misty. They've had others too. This is what I was talking about. This will be green. I did have a cat. This is his mama. They're both a Dartmoor pony family. They came together in a box. Uh, this one's a she like. This is an Aquatique. He's a stallion. Yeah, a stallion. He's got testicles. Some of them have testicles. Some of them don't. And the ones that don't are a gelding. Because they can't breed because they have got no jizz in their balls. They've got no balls. 
this one's also this one was my very first you like i called him joey after warhorse and i do not in my in my you like collection to be honest i don't have a bay horse at all and this was the only one i could uh, honest i could have even though he looks brownish bayish yeah but he's an arabian yes he's an arabian foal but he looks like joey okay yeah um oh yes this one also a shall like horse and yes the tack is also a shall like one too does come with a helmet but doesn't come with a person this one's also a shall like horse i am still waiting to get a father i've been going over to the toy store casey's toys in bathurst here and they don't have the freaking male horse because i want to call him trooper because i'm sick and tired of calling this little one trooper and this one's also a shalike i got this one off rda and actually wasn't my no it wasn't my first shalike so this one was my second shalike horse this second one because i was still in high school when i got this this is a pinto gelding and it's a retired one you can search it up there's only one picture on google images of the retired pinto gelding this would cost lots of money because he's retired and he's really 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 old like the texture on it it's very smooth does it it doesn't look like the ones that ha you get now with the textures where you can actually feel like there's fur on the horse and how they did up the manes properly and the tails and braided them but yeah this one is honestly different if you have a look, closer look um yeah my camera may not be very well quality but yes so this is what shalike used to do back then in the day um but the horses they turned out now nowadays this one looks like it's better quality yes she is a retired pinto mare so that's why these two belong together because they're both retired and they're both pintos so you know what i mean they are a perfect couple horse <laughs> nay i do not play with my horses at all i actually put them up on display that's why i never played with them but i sold most of my horses they made it more detailed so with real horses they've got this thing on the inside of their legs which means that they're purebred now if you guys didn't know about that um because i've read books about horses so that's why i've learned quite a lot so on the inside you'll see that on the inside of the leg you'll see that there's a little bump it might be more noticeable with winks let me see but that was one horse i did not notice that one though so i'll try and get one of these off it's going to be a pain in the ass to put them back on again oh my god okay okay so i'm gonna to have to take this off the lazy way so you may not be able to see it but on the inside of winx's leg there's a bump um yeah there's a bump see that bump where my finger is pointing that black thing there that knows that winx is a purebred mare she is a purebred thoroughbred mare and that's how you can tell if they're purebred or not with appaloosas it's quite different you'll be able to tell if it's a purebred by just looking at their hooves if the stripes are down so they've got stripes on their hooves really special but most people have been fooled because they think it's a purebred if you just look on the inside of their legs when really you can look with appaloosas it's different this one is a i think it's a spotted blanket appaloosa so he's got um spots on his rump just not all over the body there is a mare that's got spots all over her body then you have a nab strapper which i used to have but i don't have anymore but i'll show you these two mares 
I've got. This one I called Ginger. And she was my favourite she like mare out of the whole horse collection. And this one, I still have not had a name for her yet. But you can definitely tell. These two both look the same. Yes. Same tails. Same positions. And everything. I do not. <laughs> but comparing it with the newer version of the thoroughbred. Okay, it is actually, it's actually quite a different, the head is in a different way. So if you've noticed, yeah, but the tails are different. But they still are in the same position, um, just different mane and tail. And the, the hooves, you can see the horseshoes on them. But I used to do this, so if I thought that if the horses that didn't have horseshoes, I thought that they were actually wild horses because they didn't have horseshoes. And that's my theory, because wild horses don't have horseshoes, otherwise they're not domesticated. See, the, the I think it's the Black Forest Mare. This one, um, yeah, it's a mare. She doesn't have any horseshoes, so I'm presuming she's a wild pony. Yes, she is a pony. Yes, she may look like a horse. But that's what they call those back then. They're Black Forest Pony, but she's a mare. So we got a pony, Dartmoor Pony. Um, okay, well, those are the only two ponies I have. You've got the draft horses, which would be the Frisian horses and um, the Tinker horses too. So he looks much bigger than his friends. Does he not? He looks much bigger. I just had to fix it up. But yes, he is with the draft family. Draft horses and um, carry like so carriage. They're both they're like carriage horses. The Frisians were used in the medieval times to go into battle and everything. Um, but yeah, then you have a Trachner stallion. Yes, he's got balls. <laughs> I I it's very hard considering since I haven't been able to you know, but. She like also added this little detail in with the freaking foals. This one has got testicles. I do not know why I just put that in. But anyhow, he's a boy. Definitely a boy. And his mum is a girl. I, okay, that was quite obvious. Um, but yeah. So thoroughbreds were used for racing. Standard breads were used for harness racing. So there's a difference. Because standard friend, standard breads can go at a really fast pace with a trot. That's a gait for a horse to. Um, how do I make the which one is trotting? Okay, she's trotting. This one's trotting. That's a trot. This one is a walk. She's walking. He's cantering, but I haven't got a gallop one. This sort of looks like galloping, but then you got them that stand. But yeah. Oh yeah, you haven't seen oh no, you have. <laughs> so that's all my show like horses. I've got so many more other horses in my freaking room. It's not funny at all. Um I've got an actual horse brush. It's a body brush. I I will show you. I don't know why the fuck I'm doing this for. I have no clue what came over my mind. Anyhow, better get to it before I end the video. So, this is a body brush. 
and it's got horse hair on it because I've actually used it on the horses. One of the horses was his name. His name was Sterling. I am not brushing that horse again if I have to. <laughs> so apparently uh, he wanted me to brush his rump. And I was like, okay. And I went to brush his rump. And I was doing it. He was just getting all the dirt off. And the dirt was flying up in the air. And I'm trying hard not to cough. And then he decides to turn around. Sniffs the brush. Chews it. I say, like, ah, no. It's not for chewing, Sterling. And then so he turned back around again because he wanted his rump brushed again. I'm thinking, how the hell? These horses are fucking weird. And then this. Okay. <laughs> this is a horseshoe. This was used to put on the horse's feet. Yes, it's rusty, but it's a good luck horseshoe. You're supposed to keep all the luck in by having it up. Because if you put it the wrong side down, which I'm not going to, because I feel like if I did that, the luck would run out. <laughs> but yeah. You just put it there. Anyhow. I think you've all had enough of seeing me. I've only played like one freaking match out of all this. And the rest of the video, and it's now 41 minutes, freaking she like horses and briars and everything. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a wings book. That's right. I was trying to, I was going to show you. This is my Wings book, and it is quite heavy, but it does show you. So, I'm going to get them a video. I don't know if I can turn it around. Can I? I just took a picture while I was recording. Okay, that was not fun. Okay, so... This is Winks as a foal. Don't know if you guys can see it or not, but that's her as a foal. And that's her mama, Vegas Showgirl. So she is with thoroughbred horses. This is a fact, a known fact. You, the thoroughbred horses are named after their dam or their sire, which means their mum or their dad, the mare or the stallion. And Winx, I have no clue who came up with that name. But you, with thoroughbreds, you've got to name the, uh, the horses either after the mare or the stallion. Because it's not going to work out well. Like, who shot the barman or something like that. So, yeah. Um... Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed me rambling on about horses and only had one match of Fortnite and raging about how people can be complete assholes to me when they want to be. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give out your theory or whatever your opinion is on this video of how, I don't know. Yeah, um... And I will see you guys all in the next video. Um, please make sure to give this um, video a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell down below. Subscribe to my channel if you can. Um, share it out with your friends if you want to. Uh, if that was embarrassing stuff, I wouldn't. But yeah. I'll see you all in the next episode video. Passing every red light.